In this particular video, we'll use ERP Next webhooks to integrate with external applications. Here is integration and, and here in settings, we can see webhooks. You can use any doc type to trigger the actions based on the events. So these are all the webhooks that we have created. And it could be anything like, for example, if you created a new customer or operated new customer, if you created a sales invoice uh, or when you created a payment entry where you want to update the customer that their payment has been received or when you issue a delivery note and that action could be either update the customer about his delivery or send a form for the satisfaction survey. It could be based on an interview, of course, uh, if you schedule any interview with any candidate or any applicant, job applicant, so you can send it. And then for the employees, if you are uh, submitting the salary slips based on that event, you can trigger various uh, actions. So I'll show you that. And then, of course, the lead. So based on any lead that is externally coming to you and based on that webhook, you can, of course, uh, put that uh, into your ERP next, of course. So based on the webhooks, I'll be using uh, Pabli. Pabli is a powerful application to scale and grow your business. So this is one of the best automation tools that I have used. It supports integration with over 500 applications and allows you to create workflow based on triggers and actions. I have provided the link of Pabli in the description below. You will simply click here on sign up and uh, I'll be mainly connecting it with my Gmail account. So sign up with Gmail. I can see various applications. So Pabli Connect is actually used to connect various applications. In free version, you will get 100 uh, tasks. So I'll be going here to workflows. I'll be creating my first workflow, which will be based on the ERP Next webhook. So there are various options in workflow. As I told you that more than 500 applications can be integrated. So it can be anything like if you are receiving any email from any platform and based on that email, you want to create some actions you are receiving any whatsapp message and based on that whatsapp message you want to create any action and so on so there are various uh, options that you can use so for this particular tutorial i'll be using erp next uh, in fact i'll be using this for leave application update so in case a uh, leave application is updated in erp next so i want to uh, trigger the action so i'll add a new webhook here and based on this webhook, I'll choose the naming series, of course, this is the webhook number one. So these are the events. In fact, based on that, the action will be triggered. So if any uh, record is inserted into uh, ERP next, so you can use any doc type where the record is inserted, updated, submitted, canceled, or deleted, or updated after submit, or if, if there is any change. So on these events, so you can trigger various actions. Uh, so let me show you that first. Uh, first of all, we'll go into the doc type here. Any doc type can be used here. For example, it could be uh, invoice. It could be uh, purchase invoice. So anything you talk about, it will be there. So I'll be using mainly leave application. So here is the leave application. And what I want to do here, I can, of course, choose the status also that, for example, once the leave application is approved, or so webhook will be triggered only once this particular condition is met so i'll not be using this condition for the time being for the purpose of tutorial and here i'll be using the request url now this particular url has to be created here in the pabli connect so you can see here various applications are there and i'll be explaining most of these applications one by one in the video so you can see the link in the description below so in this particular tutorial i'll be using a webhook and then i'll be showing you how based on webhook you can send the whatsapp message about uh, the status of the leave application to an employee so we'll choose the webhook first here it will be creating a url so this is the url and if i copy this url it says here that waiting for the response of the webhook let me paste this here, put a question mark here, and then we'll, I'll put test. Test will be the field name and the data will be secret exposed. So if this is successful, you will see here the response is successful. And here in Pabli Connect, the data will start appearing here. Here you can see that label is test and value is sync bricks. So similarly, I want to get the response from the leave applications about various fields, actually the leave application number, start date, end date, 
the status of leave application, the employee name. So these are the information that I want to fetch from here uh, using this particular URL. So I'll copy this URL again and I'll paste this over here into a webhook. And now you can see here request structures. I can use the JSON also and I can use form URL encoded. So you can simply choose the field names from here to create the webhook. For example, I can choose the field name, uh, name of the document. I can choose the leave type here, where form date, and then due date is there. So I'll just uh, first of all uh, save this so that this particular webhook will be saved. And now I want to run this webhook. So I'll just uh, go back here into my ERP next and we'll first of all create the leave application here. Here is the leave application list. And I'll create a new leave application, a leave type. Uh, for example, I'll use the leave without pay for the sake of tutorial. And here I'll just save it. Now, once this particular leave application is saved, I'll just again recapture the webhook response to get the response now. Now it, it is waiting for the response and this particular URL which was here will be triggered once I update this leave application. Now you can see here, uh, if I start uh, updating the leave application, I'll just enter anything else here to check the response and I'll save this leave application. The moment I save it, it has started sending the data and here you can see it has sent the data. Uh, which is the name is value and leave type is uh, leave without pay and from field is from date is this and to date is this this is the data which has come here now of course i want to have the status of this also which will come here and here i can mention the status of this and i'll save it here i'll again capture the response and now I'll again update the leave application so that new response goes back there. And here I'll save it. And now I'll wait for this response to come. Here you can see status is open. And after this response on this trigger actually, what should be the action? Based on this event, there is a trigger. And based on this trigger, now I want to create an action. So that action could be that if you want to send now this particular data which has been captured, to some other application. That application could be any external application. Uh, consider, for example, if this particular response is from your delivery order and uh, where delivery order is ready for pickup. And here you can use the API to integrate with the uh, courier service company, for example, DHL or any other company where, where the information of this has to be passed to the other application. So automatically, and uh, the information from here can be passed to uh, any external application. So again, you can use the API or any other uh, uh, function. You can use any code, in fact. So if you see here code, so you can use any Python code. So based on this particular event, so this particular action will be triggered. So you can use Python and JavaScript code, but I'll not be using that. I'll show you what I want to use here, in fact. So I'll be deleting this action. So I'll be choosing another action here. I want to send a WhatsApp message to employee saying that your leave is approved. Dear, and here will be the name and your leave application, number of the leave application from there will be uh, from date and here will be to date is now approved. So now this is using Jinja tag. The same information will be of course coming from here. This, these are the fields. So one will be the leave application number another will be from date and then will be to date and once for example this is approved uh, this response will be going how we have to sign up for the whatsapp for business and how we can create these message templates and all of that so information is available here in the description below so you can click that video so how we'll use it now we'll send this particular information to the employee on his whatsapp number so i'll be choosing an action here and if you see what will be the application so i'll be using whatsapp cloud API. And now what I'll do here, I'll be sending a text message. So the problem here is that 
where this message should go so either i use uh, the mobile number here or i'll use uh, the data from here so now if you see here in this leave application there is no mobile data mobile number is not here in the leave application if you see here uh, leave application doesn't have the data but the employee name has the data so if you go into employee record so you will see here that employee record has of course the mobile number so if i show you mobile so of course employee has the mobile number so i'll be using instead of the form url encoded i'll go for the json so with json i can type all the fields here to get the data into the webhook so what i need to fetch here of course i'll start with the curly brackets here so and curly bracket close add it over here so first thing is that i need to get the employee name so i'll be using employee name and i'll get the employee name from the current doc type so this is the jinja template actually so we are going to use it in this way uh, doc dot employee underscore name will be employee name then this will be the first tag of course first field which will be employee name and second field that we are going to use is the leave application number because here is your leave application and this will be number so i'll be using leave application as a field field label and then the doc dot name will be the leave application number as you can see here if you go here into leave application this is the name of the leave application so the third option will be of course leave start date and it will be the data field which is there is called doc dot prom underscore date and then similarly i'll just copy this again and paste it over here this will be leave end date and of course the format is that you have to use here a double inverted comma here so i need to enter the leave end date or to date or from date is already there so it will be to date now add the comma here comma and here comma and this ends here and that's it so now we'll save it again and go to leave application here and do some update here save it and now we'll see if the response is coming here you can see the employee name leave application leave start date leave ended these are the labels that i created over here so these are the labels so employee name leave application leave start date leave end date and then now because we wanted to capture the mobile number here so we wanted to have the mobile number field that should appear here so for that i'll just add another field here the label will be mobile number of employee and close and of course i can enter for the test purpose i can enter the mobile number here which will be for example 000 and here i'll add comma before that fourth field so now fifth field will be mobile number so mobile number of course we need to get from the employee uh, doc type so i'll show you how we can do that but first of all let us try to fetch this again so i'll be going to recapture the webhook and i'll make the change here into my leave application here and save it now we'll see here the webhook has fetched the mobile number of employee as 000 so instead of 000 i want to fetch the employee mobile number here so we need to get the uh, mobile number from another document right now the doc is the leave application if you see here this is the leave application doc dot name it will be leave application but in this application there is no mobile number mobile number is in the doc type of employee so how i'll get that i'll do frappe dot get underscore doc so what will be the doc in bracket i'll mention that it will be employee 
and then who will be the employee so it will be the employee who is here in this particular doc so i'll be choosing doc dot employee so i want to get the employees what i want to get i want to get dot cell underscore number and how do you know that this cell underscore number is the mobile field if you go here into doc type list and go to employee and in employee you will see here on second page so mobile is the label and cell underscore number is the field so that's why we are using it here so doc type dot employee and it's cell underscore number i'll be saving now so now this webhook will send this all data to pably so i'll recapture this i'll change this here save this now we'll see in pably here you can see my mobile number has also come here webhook is ready and my cloud whatsapp api is ready so what will happen that the webhook will capture the webhook and it will be triggered and when this happens what will happen action do this send the whatsapp message and what will be the sample metadata it will bring it from here and i'll be using this here mobile number and then what will be the text so instead of webhook i'll be typing the message here and i can use the webhook also i can use hello your leave application number and again i'll bring the webhook dated this from this to this and to also will be webhook is now approved and i can mention and here i'll be just saving this done again i go and change this is the final message and save now you can see here your leave application number from this state to this state is now approved so now i can of course change the uh, condition over here also doc status will be approved all right so this was the doc status that has to be approved of course so on update once the doc status is approved so i approve it and then save it and submit now you can see here that your leave application number has been approved and now we'll go here dashboard and you can see here my first uh, workflow is ready here so i can just clone it and now of course based on this particular clone i can make the changes over here so this is second uh, my second workflow so i'll be adding leave application export to uh, google sheets suppose if i want to do it in that way so i'll be just going back i'll be going here again it will capture the same data it will bring the same data over here but now i want to instead of using whatsapp i want to use uh, the excel sheet so first of all i'll go here to my drive google drive so this will be a leave application and i need to of course make the changes into the condition i will not use at this time and i'll not uh, i'll add one more option here which will be reason i'll go back here to pably now and in pably for this particular one 
the webhook is changed so i'll be cloning this option also here so i'll duplicate this and in this one i'll be using a different webhook which will be from this webhook in case i want to trigger both so i can do that also so here now i'll make the changes here i'll name it first change save and here you can see now what i want i want this information to be passed into uh, the sheet which is of course an another external application it could be any other external application so for the sake of tutorial i'm using sheets it could be any application which is related to uh, your business so i'll be using it here i'll be going for the sheet so it is google sheets so choose the google sheet it could be any other sheet also so now what you want to do the action is uh, add a new data row so i'll be it could be any other thing actually get rows or even look up sheet row so i'll be adding a new row now once i choose this i need to now connect to my google apps so here i'll be signing in with google and here you can see that authorization is successful now now if you see here it has fetched the application now you see here whatsapp message and leave application this was my uh, sheet which was created here if you see here this is the leave application sheet so here is the sheet one and now it has fetched all the columns over here so these columns are fetched employee name leave application start date end date reason and status so these uh, columns are fetched here now it says me that okay which type of data you want to fetch into so i'll choose here my captured work webhook so i'll be entering the employee name into employee name now what it will do it will first of all capture the data from web, webhook the data which will come which will come from this webhook and then it will send this data to google sheets which will add a new row so i'll just change it here i'll mention that the first webhook on update to add to google sheets and save it over here now you will see here the data has come over here in this case it was the leave application but in your case it could be for example uh, any other api so you can use any other api and through that api you can connect with any other external application so you send it even to microsoft excel also and here you can add it to to-do list also even if you are using bubble.io so bubble.io is also one of the best platforms to develop your applications so i have provided the video of bubble.io in the description you can see that as well and even chat gpt is also here you can integrate with the chat gpt so i have provided that in the second videos so see you in next video take care and goodbye